Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm decked out in my 4th of July outfit. Today, we are smoking a brisket. It's on the smoker already. We're a little late getting this video started. It was like a last minute decision. And then we're gonna make some loaded mashed potatoes. So we got our potatoes cut in half and quartered. We're gonna let those boil and get soft. And I'm cooking bacon to go in the loaded mashed potatoes. They're gonna be delicious. We'll take you along the way. Happy 4th of July video. So what I did was is we, I took the potatoes out of the water and put them in my KitchenAid with the paddle mixer. And while they were mixing and mashing, I did a little bit, I did a whole stick of butter because it's a lot of potatoes. And then I did a little bit of the potato water, some sour cream, about, let's see, about 16 ounces of sour cream, and about a cup of cheddar cheese. And now what we're doing is we are mixing them up real good. I think it's not good, but we are chopping the bacon that we cooked to put in here. And then that about that will wrap it up. And the brisket is resting. It'll rest for about 30 minutes. I have it. And towels in here. Bottom and top of the brisket. The brisket is still in the foil. Put it in the uh, smoker at about 6 a.m. and it's now 6 p.m. and it's resting. How you doing, little buddy? And we will do a video when I when we slice it. If we remember, so now all I'm doing is transferring them to a dish out of the mixer bowl. Man, they're so good. He's been sampling, sampling. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I, I, I took a taste test. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty delicious. We left the skins on. They have good nutritional value, I think. So it's got butter and sour cream and cheese and bacon. So the potatoes themselves don't have good nutritional value. <laughs> well, plus the carbs, but it's July 4th. Yep. So who cares? Not me. All right, we'll be back for brisket cutting. It's all over the place. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna top it with a little extra cheese. Can't have too much cheese. I think I've said that in other videos before. Well, you probably can have too much cheese, but I'm still operating with one hand, so. These potatoes will make you slap your mama. And what we'll do is we'll turn the oven on warm and stick them in the oven and keep them warm until we eat supper. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Here is the brisket as promised. We're about to slice it up. It is tender. I smoked it from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. around 275 all day. 275 degrees. I smoked it for about five hours open and then I wrapped it and put some sticks of butter on it just to melt and get some moisture. And now we just 
Bringing it up. Got a good fat layer, so it's it's very. I, uh, I usually don't trim my brisket. I I mean I would if I was trying to go to a competition or something, but I flip it over and smoke it fat side up just for moisture to drip down into it. Here. You go in the competition or something you want to cut you know a good portion of that fat off or you cut it off after you're done cooking yeah because it'll peel right off i i kind of like the fat it gives it's got a good flavor like not a whole bunch of it but it's a Let's see the smoke ring. Can you flip? It's not much of a smoke ring, but it, I think because of the fat layer, maybe. Yeah. The fat sides up. I can't see it yet. Yeah. I haven't cut enough. Yeah. Y'all. <laughs> Just sort of getting a better picture of it. That is a very, very tasty brisket. It's so tender and moist. Look at that juice That's coming That's the in. smoke ring I was looking for now that we got it opened up. Is that the conclusion of the video? That's the conclusion. Y'all have a happy 4th. Happy 4th of July. We're going to continue making a mess of this and the video.